Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Welcome to the episode 558 of Logo History. Today I'm going to, wait, what? Why is this video being uploaded on a Wednesday? That's because I want to open requests as soon as possible for y'all. For that reason, this week we won't have an episode of Logo Battle. But in compensation, requests are finally opening on Sunday. That's right, in only 4 days, on July 17th, you're gonna be able to request logos. Start preparing which logo you want me to do and please make sure I haven't done it yet and that it's not a fictional logo, neither a profile picture from a YouTube channel. Now, after hearing this wonderful piece of news, let's get back with the episode. Today I'm going to talk about KOTVDT, KWTVDT, Cascade Action Packs, Cascade Dishwasher Cleaner, Fresh Scent, Arc System Works and Yoohoo and Friends. KOTVDT and KWTVDT were requested by R. Martin Selby, Cascade Action Packs and Cascade Dishwasher Cleaner, Fresh Scent were requested by Gummy Gamer and Arc System Works, and Yoohoo and Friends were requested by Gil Bickle. Check out their channels by clicking on the card above. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about Yoohoo and Friends. It is a Korean line of stuffed toys released by Aurora World around July 2006. Inspired by a bush baby, the first of the Yoohoo and Friends toys that were introduced were 5 and 8 inch plush animals with big button eyes and long, soft tails. 2006 to the present, there is the word Yoohoo in yellow, blue and pink text on a white outline, and under it, there are the words Anne and Friends in brown text on a white outline. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Cascade Dishwasher Cleaner, Fresh Scent. It is a product sold by Cascade, a brand owned by Procter & Gamble that produces dishwashing liquid. Something to the present, there are the words Great Value Grand and Buller in dark blue text, and on the right of them there is a dark blue ring, and inside it, there is a dark blue number 2, and on the right of the ring, there are the words Uses and Usages in dark blue text, and under the word Buller, there is a white circle, and on it, there is the word Cascade in red text on a white outline, and on the right of the circle there is a dishwasher, and under it, there is a dark blue rectangle, and inside it, there are the words dishwasher cleaner net orientant machine in white text, and under them there is a white circle, and on the right of it, there are the words helps eliminate limiscale less aids eliminant and limiscale in white text, and on the right of them, there is a white circle, and on the right of it, there are the words easy dose packs less etiquette gets facils to, and in white text, and under the rectangle, there are two of these products, and under them, there is some caution information. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Cascade Action Packs. It is a product sold by Cascade, a brand owned by Procter & Gamble that produces dishwashing liquid. 2003 to 2018, there is a silver shape, and inside it there is a red number 1, and under the silver shape there is a white circle, and on it there is the word Cascade in red text on a white text, and under it, there are the words with the power and oven blue text, and on the bottom right of them, there is a blue diamond shape on a yellow and red outline, and on it, there is the word Clorox in white text, and under the white circle, there is a product, and on the left of it, there is the word 6x in red text, and under it, there are some words in blue text, and under them there is a green line, and on it, there is a white number 17, and under the line, there are a bunch of words in green text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Arc System Works. It is a Japanese video game developer and publisher located in Yokohama. Founded by Minoru Kaduka in 1988, the company is known for arcade 2D fighting game franchises, including Guilty Gear and Blue, as well as other license-based fighting games for Dragon Ball, Persona 4 and others. 1988 to 1998, there are the words Arc System and Works in red text. 1998 to the present, there is a red square, and inside it there is a white drawing, and under it, there are the words Arc System and Works in white text. Here is the version with the website, the 30th anniversary version and an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about KWTVDT. It is a television station in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, United States, affiliated with CBS. It is the flagship broadcast property of locally based Griffin Communications and is co-owned with MyNetwork affiliate KSBI. 
Both stations share studios on Kelly Avenue and 74th Street in Oklahoma City, while KWTVDT's transmitter is located on the city's northeast side. 1953 to 1960, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1960 to 1965, there is a black rectangle, and inside it, there is the word KWTV in white text, and under it, there is a white CBS logo that consists in a white circle inside a white shape, and on the right of the word KWTV, there is a white number 9. Here is a bumper. Are you tired of seeing witches and monsters on television? If you are, and you want a normal, down-to-earth television program with no tricks, then join me weekday afternoons at 1 o'clock on Channel 9 for The Galen Stacy Show. Nineteen sixty five to nineteen sixty eight, there is the word KWTV in black text, and under it there are the words Oklahoma and City in black text, and on the right of the word KWTV, there is a yellow number nine. Nineteen sixty eight to nineteen seventy one, there are the words Channel Nine and KWTV in black text. Nineteen seventy one to nineteen seventy eight, there are the words KWTV and nine in brown text, and under the word KWTV, there are the words Oklahoma City a CBS and affiliate in black text, and between the words CBS and affiliate, there is a black CBS logo. Here is the newsroom version and the icon. 1978 to 1981, there are the words KWTV Big and 9 in black text. Here is a variant and a bumper. Nineteen eighty one to nineteen eighty eight, there is the word KWTV in black text, and dividing it, there is a black number nine. Here is a bumper. Oklahoma's news leaders, Mignon Merchant, Mitch Jelniker, Gene Wheatley with the farm news, and Nelson Robinson with the weather. This is Newsline Nine Morning Edition. 1988 to 1997, there is the word spirit in red text, and under it, there is the word KWTV in blue text, and on the right of it, there is a blue number 9. Here is the icon, the version without the spirit, the Newsline version, a variant and a bumper. Newsline 9, working in the spirit of Oklahoma. 1997 to 2010, there is a white rectangle on a black outline, and inside it there is the word news in black text, and under it there is a red rectangle, and inside it, there is a white CBS logo, and on the right of it, there is the word KWTV in white text, and on the right of the rectangle, there is a dark blue rectangle, and inside it, there is a white number 9, and under the white rectangle, there are the words Oklahoma and city in black text. Here is the news version, the spirit version and a bumper. Around the Kingfisher, 2010 to the present, there is a red rounded square, and inside it, there is a white number 9. Here is the version with the website and a bumper. Oklahoma's own News 9 starts now. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about KOTVDT. It is a television station in Tulsa, Oklahoma, United States, affiliated with CBS. It is owned by Griffin Communications alongside Muskogee G licensed CW affiliate KQCWDT and radio stations KTSB, KBEZ, KVOOFM, KXBL and KHTT. 
1955 to 1956, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1956 to 1960, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1960 to 1964, there is a black rectangle, and inside there are the words Cot Channel and Tulsa in white text, and on the right of them there is a white number 6, and inside it there is a CBS logo, and on it, there is the word CBS in white text. 1964 to 1978, there is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it there is the word cop in black text, and under it, there is a CBS logo, and on the right of it, there is a black number 6, and under the rectangle, there is the word Tulsa in black text. 1978 to 1979, there are the words Kotban News in black text and on the right of the word News, there is a CBS logo, and under it, there are the words a CBS and affiliate in black text, and on the right of the logo, there is a black number 6. 1979 to 1980, there is a black number 6, and on the right of it, there is the word Kotban black text, and under it, there is a CBS logo. 1980 to 1995, there is a black number 6. Here is a bumper. KOTV 6, Tulsa. 1995 to 2010, there is a blue square, and inside it there are the words the news and on in white text, and on the right of the square, there is a blue number 6, and under it there is a red rectangle, and inside it, there is the word cop in white text. Here is the 2D version, the version with the website and a bumper. This is the news on 6, at 6. 2010 to the present, there is a red rounded square, and inside it, there is a white number 6. Here is a bumper. Oklahoma Zone News on 6 starts now. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode 559 that is going to be about Pulse at Film of Tova's Pepsi We With You and Televisor of Venezolana Social. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until the next video, bye.